what's up traders it's mark here at dino trading let's get right into today's video recap that sell-off that everybody was waiting for finally showed up today all right let's get right into it here guys what you're seeing on the screen is today's chart on the s p 500 this is the global benchmark i know a lot of you guys love trading the s p 500 uh, if you trade forex your symbol is spx 500 if you trade futures your symbol is es and of course if you trade stocks and options your symbol is spy spy okay and what you see overlaid onto the s p 500 chart is this green and red color band all right this is the volume indicator i just knew it was going to nail that sell-off wasn't sure when but i was convinced that i was going to catch the trade of a lifetime if all i did was be patient all right so what you can see right here guys um is you know the volume indicator it turns green and red remember this is simply a directional filter i've always said this to you guys if you can't get the direction right, you shouldn't be trading, all right? Getting the direction right is, in my opinion, the most important factor. I think a lot of beginner traders and a lot of new traders struggle with getting the direction right, okay? But you have to realize that's your starting point. And more importantly, you have to prepare. You have to have a game plan of what to do if you get the direction right. You know what I'm saying? It's not a guarantee that anyone's going to get the direction right, but this volume indicator is essentially an odds game right it's a game of percentages and probabilities when it turns red all right there's a greater chance of the market selling off than rallying makes sense and you guys know what's coming next right when i say we got a perfect setup on the spy today you guys know what that means right the retracement pattern I've done four videos in a row, okay, just talking about retracements, and by now, if you guys don't know what a retracement is, shame on you, you know what I'm saying? So just in case you guys still don't know what a retracement pattern is, let me show you what that might look like, all right? So in this case, I'm going to show you a bearish retracement pattern. Here's what it looks like. There's three legs to any retracement pattern, leg number one, leg number two, and leg number three. Here's what those three legs look like, all right? Leg number one, leg number two, and leg number three, all right? Does that make sense? Now, leg number one establishes the direction. There's nothing for you to do here. You just wait for the direction to be illustrated on the chart, and that's represented here by this volume indicator turning red, right? Now, leg number two here of that same pattern is the retracement this is when you should be really on high alert you should be watching the market like a hawk and you should be probably watching it tick by tick right and then leg number three of course is the market going in your favor so here you go again one two three let's try to now superimpose this pattern onto the market okay is this making sense, folks? Do you see what I'm getting at when I say retracement pattern? It's not exactly brain surgery, right? Now, let me go ahead and zoom in here. Okay, let's really zoom in. I really want to dial you in here, folks, all right? I want to make sure you guys understand this concept of trading a retracement because it was like taking candy from a baby today. You could not have asked for a more perfect setup, all right? So let's walk through this. Leg number one, great. We got the direction. Now we're looking for that retracement. Okay, so the market's coming up, 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 up. Now here's the qualifying criteria. We have to wait for a bar that has the same color as the volume indicator. You understand what I'm saying? Which is represented by this bar right here, but it also has to be above the color. Meaning when you look at this qualifying bar, it has to be significantly above the color. It can't be down here, over here. It can't be over here. I mean, it has to be pretty obvious to you as you're looking at this chart. Make sense? So this bar here definitely qualifies. You understand? Now, once this bar closes, what you could think about doing is opening up a short trade on the open of the next bar. 
which happens somewhere over there. Make sense? And a logical area to place your stop is going to go one or two ticks or pips above the qualifying bar's high, which would mean your stop goes approximately in this area. Again, folks, tell me if I'm going too fast. This is the most simplistic strategy you're going to find, I think, in the universe. Why? Because it's nothing more than green and red within the context of a retracement. Make sense? Now, if I zoom this bad boy out, you can just see what an absolute doozy this market gave us today. I mean, for crying out loud, this was about a 400 ticks slash pips potential. 400 ticks and pips. Really try to comprehend how powerful of a move that is. Okay, from the high to the low. And again, I don't want you to think you're going to make all of this, right? It's not possible for anybody to make 100% of a potential move. But even if you were able to capture a fraction of this potential, then what you're doing is you're dominating every other retail trading moron who failed to get the direction right today. You understand? So... I hope this explains to you guys why getting the direction right is so important, you know? Being able to get the direction right, to me, that's the holy grail, but more importantly, being able to look for perfect setups. I mean, guys, you could not ask for a more perfect setup today on the on the SPY. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And uh, same thing on the Dow, same thing on the NASDAQ today. It was just a great day to trade it to the short side. And the last thing I want to bring to your attention, folks, is I'm only talking about the morning session. You guys know that, right? Let me let me go back and zoom in here again. Okay, one second. So look at the x-axis here, right? This originating trade took place at around 8.15 in the morning. And assuming that this was the stop, let me go ahead and expand out the stop, all right? What you could simply do is trail your stop, you know, on every Verosa bar. Here's one, here's one, here's one, and then you eventually get taken out at a nice winner. But what I want to draw your attention to is, again, look at the x-axis. It's 1017, right? Still the morning session. So, folks, one thing I want you to glean and, and, and take away from watching this video is... Number one, getting the direction right matters. That's important. To me, that's a mission critical piece of your trading. Okay? And then providing for you guys this retracement pattern is just kind of a bonus, man. What this this will do is it will really filter out a lot of the false trades and a lot of the false setups, right? Because we're only looking for the best setups. We are doing our best to become as perfect as possible with our trading but not only that we also want to try to limit our trading to just the morning session right. how many times have you heard me say that i know you know it's not the first time i've said that folks the morning session is where all the action is the morning session is where these huge astronomical moves take place and thank you to everybody who sent their feedback today on using the vol it was just it was just a day of almost perfection. Um, I'm really glad you guys are enjoying this trading indicator, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I believe in volume. I've always believed in volume analysis, and I'm convinced this volume trading indicator is the winning ticket. So again, congrats to everybody who was able to use the volume indicator successfully today in your strategy. And for everybody else, <laughs> It's time for you guys to get off the sidelines, man. I don't know what you're sitting around waiting for. Right? It's time to get off the sidelines, get involved. We're clocking in at the end of two months, and this year's already flying by. All right? I want all you guys to hope and pray that we get more powerful price action tomorrow, and we see some very similar setups in tomorrow's session. Let's see what happens. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo, really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading. Guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next trade.